going to be making charred salsa. Now this is one of our family's favorite recipes for canning with tomatoes. Uh, I prefer to use San Marzano's, but you can do it with pretty much anything. But basically, tools you're going to need is some type of barbecue. Now, you can char these in the oven on a broil. Um, I prefer to barbecue them because the flavor on a charcoal grill is just amazing. But we have done always, we've done a propane barbecue, we've done it in the oven. There's, there's any number of ways to uh, char your vegetables for this recipe. Vegetables? Fruit? Kind of a mixture of both. <laughs> but we're going to get to it right now. I'm going to show you what you need and then we're going to get into prep. So of course the main item in our canning uh, repertoire this year, tomatoes. You're going to need uh, six pounds of tomatoes prepped. So I always add one extra pound because you kind of lose a bit when you cut out the cores and stuff. I prefer using the San Marzano's. Uh, I find they're just a nice, bulky, uh, good thickness for barbecuing. Uh, but like I said, I have done this with even our um, Scotias, which are quite juicy. It just means that you lose a little bit more substance uh, when you're barbecuing those. But we're going to get those washed up, and then I'll show you what we're going to do with them. Other ingredients you're going to need is garlic jalapenos or some other type of hot pepper. We have some store-bought jalapenos here and then we have some of our little black Hungarians. I did not have enough black Hungarians this year to really uh, make the quantity of this that I wanted. So of course we bought some jalapenos, onions, apple cider vinegar, and salt. Basically that's it. This is a very, very, very simple recipe. The flavor all comes from the charring on the grill. So we're going to get busy with this and we'll uh, show you kind of step by step how we go. All right, so we have everything prepped for the barbecue. All four of these items will go on to the barbecue. The garlic is um, peeled and just left as whole clove. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil in that pan and that's just going to sit right on the grill. Your onions, you want those peeled and quartered so that we can char them. Jalapenos halved with the seeds and the cores taken out. And same with your tomatoes. Now, I will say with this, the seeds on the jalapenos, you do not have to take them out. If you like it really spicy, we do remove ours. And with your tomatoes, you don't have to do this, but I like to because it makes a less runny salsa and I don't really care for the seeds in my salsa. So I actually remove the seed centers. Uh, it's also a perfect opportunity to save seeds from your uh, tomatoes when you're removing those seeds anyways. But as you can see, we've got some big pots here. Uh, as always, I am working in a triple batch. So in the description below, I will actually write a single batch recipe out for you. As the name suggests, charred salsa, your uh, garlic, onions, peppers, and tomatoes are all grilled. Now we use our barbecue, as I was saying, but you can also do this in your oven on a broil. Uh, it works just as well. Uh, flavor's a little bit different, but hey, everybody has their own preferences and you work with what you've got. But we're working away on this here now. And let me just see here. There you can see gorgeously charred. And we just put them into the bucket. Onions, nice and done. Uh, basically, what I tend to do is I do all my onions and peppers and garlic first because I want to put those into the food processor and chop them a little bit finer than I do my tomatoes. So I keep all the tomatoes separate until it's at that point where we mix it all in the big pot. So I'm going to keep going on this and I'll bring you back when we've got some tomatoes on the barbecue and we'll show you how that goes. So we have all of our onions and peppers charred ready to be ground up. So that bucket is done and we're going to just set that aside. And now we're on to charring our tomatoes. One thing I will say when it comes to the charring of tomatoes, watch the heat on your grill because they go quite quickly. You can see there, nicely blackened, that's all you want. Just like that, they start to get a little soft. Uh, one thing you're not going to do is you don't flip these over. They just get grilled on the one side. There's a beauty right there. And then uh, taken off and put new ones in their place. So we're gonna get all that bowl of tomatoes done and then we'll bring you back. 
we're back inside and we're going to start pureeing all this up or chopping it all up I guess you could say we're just using a uh, Hamilton Beach Cuisinart whatever kind of chopper you've got but I do the garlic first Ooh, as I send it all over can't lose that precious stuff we're gonna get that in we're gonna start to chop that and then we're gonna throw in uh, the jalapenos and the onions because we want all that stuff chopped up just a little bit finer because well I don't really like biting into a big piece of hot pepper so or a big piece of garlic for that matter so we're gonna get that going and then I'll bring you back as we start to build up the uh, pot with the tomatoes and things so unfortunately at this point it really just looks like a mucky gray mess but you can see in here we've chopped up our jalapenos and the garlic quite small and then I did the onions afterwards and they're a little bit chunkier because we like a bit of a chunky salsa and I don't mind getting a big bite of onion I just don't want a big bite of hot pepper or garlic so now it's time to uh, chop up our tomatoes and add them to this and uh, get it back on the oven to bring it to a boil it smells really good already mm-hmm one thing that you will notice with your tomatoes is after you've kind of piled them all back in the bowl they lose a lot of liquid uh, which is fine because I like a chunky salsa so I don't want all that liquid in there and I don't want to have to cook it longer than necessary so this is actually great because that excess is kind of squished out by the weight of them so I suggest a slotted spoon and scoop these into our processor to get them chopped up I really just give them a little whiz because I don't want them to be mush so there we are that's our tomatoes pureed up it looks so good and then we're just going to kind of stir it up see all that other stuff coming to the top it makes a beautiful thick tasty salsa so from this point now we've got some more ingredients to put in but we're going to get this on the oven and starting to heat up while we uh, get uh, the rest of our ingredients lined up so as I've said before this is a very very simple salsa so as you've seen so far we've put onions garlic jalapenos and tomatoes which we charred on the barbecue so now there's just three remaining ingredients they are apple cider vinegar now as you recall I'm doing a three times batch so I'm putting a cup and a half but I will write in the description a single batch recipe which should make around five pints I'm doing six tablespoons of sugar and three tablespoons of salt and that is it we're going to get this stirring up and bring it to a boil it needs to boil for five minutes and then we're gonna jar it up so I better hurry up and get my jars ready so as you can see we are boiling away we have been boiling for quite some time I've actually done a few jars already but we're going to just spoon this in hopefully it's very very thick as you can see so you want to leave about a half inch head space check your jar make sure you don't have any uh, air bubbles in there you can take a knife and stick it down in if you feel it's necessary I don't think it will be because it's liquidy enough lid goes on and into the water bath canner right away uh, my canner can hold nine jars I have a feeling we're gonna get 15 so this is gonna be two loads we're gonna be doing but we're going to get them all in there and then you water bath can at a full boil for 40 minutes and then you're done well we ended up with 13 and a half jars uh, not the 15 that I thought but I knew I'd made it a little bit thick so uh, but hey that's how it goes and uh, 13 and a half jars is just fine plus it's kind of nice to have that jar that we can snack on right away this really is an amazing salsa so I hope you give it a try uh, it is definitely one of the favorites at the family in the homestead here and we often give it as gifts it's wonderful 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 so give it a try let us know what you think in the comments below or send us a note or whatever however you want to get in touch but uh, anyways that's our charred salsa recipe for this year